Super Star Destroyers are a staple of the Star Wars franchise, and since the Ahsoka series is bringing us the Eye of Scion, which uses the hyperdrive of a Super Star Destroyer to leave the galaxy, I think we should go over the canon Super Star Destroyers. The first one is called the Annihilator, and it's chronologically the first one. It was under the command of Cassio Tag, who left the Death Star before it got blown up, hence his promotion. After Tag was, er, relieved of duty, the ship fell into the hands of pirates. The Executor is the one everyone knows about. It was the personal flagship of Darth Vader. The bridge was destroyed in a kamikaze attack and subsequently plunged into Death Star 2. I'm using the Legends image for the Lusanka because we don't have a canon one, but much like Legends, it's the sister ship of the Executor. The Arbitrator was chased by the New Republic and made a poorly calculated jump into hyperspace where it was destroyed. The Eclipse was the personal flagship of Emperor Palpatine and hid out in the Unknown Regions to gather the remnants of the Empire to turn them into the First Order. The Ravager is the ship that led the Imperial forces at the Battle of Jakku, and considering how it's now currently Scrap in the Jakku Desert, I think we know how that ended up. Per the Aftermath books, we know that the Empire had 13 Super Star Destroyers in service. Ray Sloan would find out that 11 of the 13 were destroyed or surrendered to the New Republic. The only ones in operation by the time she actually checked were the Ravager and the Eclipse. Though let's not be foolish, Palpatine had plenty of magic accounting that allowed him to fund entire secret fleets. Even New Republic Intelligence thought that 13 was a low number of Super Star Destroyers, and they screw up at everything. This is one of our few sensible calls. That's it for this video. Please consider liking, subscribing, and tipping the channel on Kofi.